These are two smartphones that you might have your eyes on, and for good reason. Feature for feature, you can't find a better combination than the two phones you see here. But which one of these phones comes out on top? Well, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? And we will explore that question in this, the Samsung Galaxy S8 versus the LG G6. For the full stories and specifications on either of these phones, remember that you can watch my full review of the Galaxy S8 or Lon's review of the LG G6 here at Android Authority. In this versus video, I will be providing my own opinions, but remember that this is also a discussion. Let us know which one you would pick and why in the comments below. At first glance, the Galaxy S8 is the phone that causes a double take. Samsung managed to pack a large screen onto a body that feels and looks pretty damn slim. Compare this to the LG G6, which is a bit more generic. LG's phone is also slightly thicker, which adds to its bulk, while the S8 sheds space, bezel, and hand gymnastics through a wonderfully crafted curved display. But that doesn't take away from what LG has achieved this year. A return to form, more focused on getting the details right, rather than experimenting to failure the way the G5 did. But when you're looking for a phone that turns heads, the Galaxy S8 is definitely the one to grab. Just hold on tight, because regardless of which one you choose, the glass-on-glass -glass design on either phone can slip about pretty easily. The Galaxy S8 also takes the screen to the next level, curving the sides for minimal bezels and better handling. LG still dives into the 18x9 aspect ratio gracefully, however, minimizing its bezels as much as it can without fancy glass bending. The result is a lack of buttons on the front of either device, though the S8 smartly hides a haptic feedback version below its screen. Both also have good always-on displays, but LG's version on this LCD remains pretty stagnant, while the Samsung iteration is more customizable, provides a little more info, and benefits from the AMOLED display. So in terms of design and display, the Galaxy SA is clearly ahead of the curve, managing to be a sleek piece of tech while providing the large screen experience. And for a lot of users, this combination might be the reason to go for Samsung. The spec hungry will also gravitate to the Galaxy because of the Snapdragon 835, the slight bump up over the LG G6. But we actually don't see much of a gap between these two phones in everyday use. The Galaxy S8 is richer in software features and, let's face it, redundant applications when compared to the G6, which runs a little bit leaner. Battery life is also a bit of a toss-up between these two as the LG G6 has a slight bump up on the Galaxy S8 in battery capacity putting it at 5 hours of screen on time consistently, while the S8 gets 4.5 hours. We do have to call out the one hardware and design choice that has frustrated nearly any user in Android Authority's ranks, the Galaxy S8's fingerprint sensor. Yes, you can use the iris scanner in place of it, but that still takes a little more time than the simply located G6 sensor. Just lay your finger down on that little circle on the back of the LG G6, and you're good to go. Now, a couple weeks back, I talked about dual cameras and why I thought they were a wonderful addition to any current smartphone. So it should be no surprise that I think the LG G6 inches out the S8 in this one category. That's not to say that the S8 has a bad camera by any means, there's just a little more fun to be had with the G6's wide-angle secondary lens. Every shot that the Galaxy S8 captures can be made a little more dramatic with that action cam-like perspective, and it remains one of the funnest aspects of the LG phone. Not to mention, LG did a great job of fitting its camera interface on the super wide-angle screen. Of course, the S8 still has a few options of its own. One I like in particular is the front-facing camera being able to do 2K video. But turn the G6 around and take what we call a wide fee, and the photos and video become much more interesting. <laughs> it's great to have the wide-angle for stuff like this car meet and having everything in the frame, including Pawnee City Hall. For shutterbugs looking for a great secondary shooter, you can't go wrong either way. But if you want a little more choice and control over your shots that a fixed lens just falls short of providing, the G6 is definitely the more capable companion. And finally, to top it all off, we can simply say that the S8 continues the galaxy legacy of super feature-heavy software. Samsung's UI has managed to pack everything in a great-looking home screen interface, but it still takes a bit of time to dive into the deep settings menus and find where every setting lies. To a much lesser extent, the LG G6 has its own bevy of features that doesn't go out of its way to really change the tried-and-true Android workflow. Google Assistant is prominent, and LG's own applications are gradually getting nixed in favor of Google's first-party offerings. Which leads us to Bixby, Samsung's answer to smart assistants. The worst part about doing this comparison now is the fact that Bixby is basically still in the oven. Bixby Vision in the camera is a neat addition that is great for wine reviews and, for now, not too much else. And Bixby Home is a nice-looking home splash screen that probably won't convert loyal users of Google Now. 
And Bixby Voice right now is only available to people in Korea, with the release date in America and the General West still up in the air. For the full premium price on carriers, both phones are virtually neck and neck in overall desirability. Samsung has made one of the best designed big screen phones ever, but LG continues to kill it with its cameras. Samsung's feature scent is bonkers as usual, but Bixby only further proves how redundant to Google they're really becoming. As a vlogger and shutterbug, my pick does go to the G6, but I will admit that the Galaxy S8 is a bit of a triumph. It comes down to what your needs are, which is why I want you to remember to sound off in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video pitting the Galaxy S8 against the LG G6. Head on over to AndroidAuthority.com and subscribe to the Android Authority YouTube channel to see the full reviews for the Galaxy S8 and the LG G6, after which time you can see which one of these phones really suits your needs. And from there, let us know which phone you would choose in the comments below, and we're going to respond to as many of the comments as we can, so remember that this discussion can continue right down below. Keep it tuned to Android Authority for even more because we are your source for all things Android.